Typhoid Typhoid or typhoid fever is a waterborne disease. The type of pathogen causing this infection is a bacteria named Salmonella typhi. Typhoid is a type of enteric fever, which are infections occurring in GI tract and bloodstreams. Epidemiology This disease is most likely to be seen in children and young adults, from 5 to 19 years old. South Central and Southeast Asia record the highest rates of typhoid cases. In 2000, 21.7 million people were reported to be ill, 90% of which occurred in Asia, while 1% of them died. Source of disease Typhoid is caused by the pathogen, Salmonella typhi, which spreads through contaminated water. Water gets contaminated with the feces of an infected person. Pathogen from contaminated water may further travel through flies, from the sewage to food or water. It will finally infect directly through persons handling food and water, causing the disease. Some people may carry the pathogen in them without getting affected, but may act as a carrier and spread the disease to others directly and also through fecal contamination making it a chief source of the disease. Symptoms Symptoms of typhoid are usually visible within 6 to 30 days of infection. The pathogen enters the stomach through consumption of contaminated food or water, passes to the intestine, where it multiplies and causes deep ulcers producing bloody stools with diarrhea or constipation. Some of the other symptoms include, gradually increasing fever which lasts for several days, weakness and fatigue, headache, muscle aches, loss of appetite, stomach pain, and mild vomiting in some cases. Treatment Typhoid can be treated with proper administration of antibiotics and fluids, including IV fluids and oral rehydration therapy. The course of antibiotics should be completed as advised by the doctor. If the medication is stopped abruptly without medical advice, drug-resistant varieties may develop, which are difficult to treat. In severe cases, steroids need to be used. Prevention There are two vaccines for preventing the disease. Vaccines are available as oral medication and injection. The oral medication can be taken by children and adults over 6 years of age and the injection, over 2 years of age. Vaccines may provide some protection against typhoid fever. However they don't last forever, you need to get additional doses to stay protected. Though they greatly reduce the risk of infection, it is not guaranteed. Some other preventive measure that can be adopted against the infection are Avoiding making food for others if you're sick Washing hands with soap and water before and after preparing food or eating, and after using the toilet Washing surfaces and utensils, which are used for food preparation, and eating, before and after use Eating well-cooked food Avoiding drinking or cooking in untreated water. Risk factors Since typhoid is a human-restricted bacterial infection, its reservoirs or the main source of occurrence are carriers, which complicate its source identification. Industrialized nations with proper sanitation and food handling facilities have reduced number of cases. Whereas developing nations like parts of Asia and Africa posses the highest rate of infection due to lack of access to clean water and proper sanitation and health care facilities. Diagnosis Diagnosis of typhoid fever can usually be confirmed by analyzing samples of blood, poo or pee. The bacteria aren't always detected the first time, so you may need to have a series of tests. Testing a sample of bone marrow is a more accurate way of diagnosing typhoid fever. But getting the sample is both time-consuming and painful, so it's usually only used if other tests are inconclusive. If typhoid fever is confirmed, other members of your household may also need to be tested in case you have passed the infection on to them. In this video we discussed about the disease, epidemiology, source of infection, symptoms, treatment, prevention risk factors and diagnosis. Thank you.